Since the early Christians did not celebrate the birth of Christ, they did not preserve for us the exact date when Jesus was born. Scholars are agreed it had to be sometime between the years 4 and 7 BC. But the December 25th date was not introduced until the mid-300s. And the celebration of Christmas itself was introduced late in the 4th century to adapt and replace Roman pagan festivals. It's Easter that was the important time for the early church, but the birthdays that were celebrated were those of the great martyrs who had died for their faith. And why birthdays? For the early church, the day of martyrdom was the birthday for entering the presence of God. Here their names are recorded. Pothinus, the Episcopal, Zacharias, the Presbyter, Sanctus, the Diaconate, Espagathus, Artilus, Maturus, Alexander, Ponticus, Asclepiades, Macarius, Silvius, Primus. We know so little about the vast anonymous army that joined the ranks of the early Christians and spread the message to the far corners of the empire. But perhaps indirectly, we can get a better feeling for them by looking at the stories that they treasured and the models that they sought to emulate. With the help of my three colleagues, Nigel, Jane, and Russell, we'll now look at two of the most noteworthy and influential martyrs, Polycarp and Perpetua. Their stories were recorded, circulated, celebrated by those who shared both their faith and the threat of their fate. 